I'm Tanisha. And I'm Tony. Tony and I met in uh, 2010 on a dating website. At that time in my life, I was uh, pretty busy. I was working two jobs. I was in school and uh, my son had just had a little boy. So um, I was leading a pretty um, busy boring life. life. <laughs> busy or boring? <laughs> a busy life. Um, and uh, I decided I, I was gonna do a um, a dating site because I wasn't going anywhere to really meet anyone. So um, he sent me a message on um, on the site and it was probably about two weeks in between he sending it and I picking it up. And um, what you do? I called you and <laughs> asked her if she uh, ordered any Chinese food. <laughs> I was a Chinese deliverer. <laughs> and I was a little heated at the moment because my grandson was crying and I was in the midst of something and I'm like, look, who is this? Don't play on the phone. <laughs> I was gonna hang up. Told you it was me, Tony, calling first time. Yeah. I wanted to see if we could hang out. Yes, and we had a good lunch. We had a good lunch. He made me laugh um, during the lunch and um, that was a good thing because I had a lot going on in my life at the time. Um, so, kind of from that point on, we were stuck to each other. Um, 2012, my, my dad passed away, and um, Tony was there. He was very supportive. Um, Tony said he had to speak to me. It was urgent. And the first thought, I was like, oh, Lord, what is this? <laughs> so we met for, uh, we met for dinner. and. Um, that's when Tony told me that he had uh, kidney disease. My dad had uh, kidney disease, so I was... Um, Quite aware of it. <laughs> yeah, I was. I had gone through a lot with my dad and, and the disease, and I'm getting him in various uh, studies and, and clinicals and things of that nature. And Tony was like, no, mm-mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm private. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very private about what me and my disease. Time went on uh, about a month or so. Yeah, Tony started dialysis, and making sure that um, you know he went to his appointments and going to work. He wanted to maintain, I guess, as much normalcy to his life as possible. So this is where I really saw his strength, and and throughout it, he 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 did maintain his sense of humor. Um, I love you, babe. I love you too. <laughs> So we were um, scheduled to actually, well, we were actually planning a wedding in 2000, and uh, Tony became ill, so uh, we didn't go through with that. Was scouring the internet, looking for um, anything that could possibly, anything, anyone that could possibly help us, um, you know, do a wedding. Grant a wish, huh? Yeah, so unbeknownst to Tony, I found, um, wish upon a wedding. I was like, oh wow, they really have things out here like this. So I, I put in the application and after um, submitting the application that we actually were contacted. So when we received the phone call, um, Tony was baffled because he was like, what is this? <laughs> so um, I muted the phone and I was like, um, I put in this application for us to get a dream wedding. And he was like, really? And I said, yeah. So um, a month later, uh, they called us and told us that we were chosen. And I was floored. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty excited about the whole thing. It's his situation that has allowed us to, um, to get this wish. So thank you. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for a pretty awesome day with our close family and friends. Very elegant and somewhat blinged out situation. <laughs> what you think? Yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> Whatever you want, babe. <laughs> That's, I've heard a lot of that this time. I hope that continues. <laughs> I hope that continues on. Whatever you want, babe. Oh, okay. I just wanted to be uh, a beautiful day for her. I want to see her in that gown and all her friends and family there and supporting us on our day 